I thank you for joining me today and I'm so delighted to, to have you. It's amazing that uh, we have come to the last month of the year, 2011. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. I would like to thank you if you have been a regular viewer or a listener or follower of this program, the Hope on Heavens Daily Reflection from the book, this book actually, this is the 2012 edition of the book written by Pastor E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I believe the book must have been a blessing to you and our reflection must have blessed you as well. So we're looking today at uh, the topic, Hope and Faithfulness. A Bible passage is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and we are reading verse 9 to 11. Therefore know that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. And he repays those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack with him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. Therefore, you shall keep the commandment, the statutes, and the judgments which I command you today to observe them. A memory verse is taken from the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 2, and it says, In hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began. Let's have a reflection. I love the expression of David in the book of, of Psalm 39 verse 7. And it was indeed a testimony. And he, 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 was, he was probably downcast, but he, he had to say, he said, and now Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. We cannot but agree with Pastor Adeboye in our Open Heavens daily devotional today that hope has a link with the future. Moreover, from the Bible passage mentioned earlier, it is clear that hope is linked to God and the most enduring characteristic of our God is His faithfulness. He is forever the same and His name is the same from age to age. Anyone in charge of tomorrow is definitely able to uphold hope. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 8 says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, said the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Hope is linked with tomorrow, and God is the one who holds tomorrow. Do not let any man deceive you. No man holds tomorrow except God. Pastor Adeboe said in our Open Heavens Daily Devotional today that many who brag about tomorrow never live to see it. If you are wise, you will not only acknowledge God, but you will ensure that we live in consonance with his dictates. Hence, Another way God is linked with hope is through the, His faithfulness, which we can find in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 9, that we read the other time. God is extremely faithful. The quality of His faithfulness in keeping promises and agreement is unparalleled. There are some people around us who make simple promises that they cannot keep. So if you put your confidence in such unfaithful people, you will face disappointment. God cannot disappoint you because it's not a man that he will lie. Whatever he has promised, he's able to do. And I want you to commit yourself into his hand this time and is going to perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. 
Our action point, God's faithfulness is never in doubt. The issue is how trusting are we. Let's put our confidence in Him as we end this year and believe that every promise He has given to us is able to bring them to pass. The good Lord bless you and see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.